A disappointment on the field yesterday as the Ravens gave away the game to the Steelers. But Nikki Mayo takes us inside the locker room to find out how their uniforms still looked good around town. It's the biggest rivalry in the NFL. A lot of blood, sweat, and gridiron toughness. And while Joe Flacco took a beating from James Harrison and his boys, it was their black unis that took a blow as well. Beaten, battered, and dragged through the mud? A lot goes into making these Ravens jerseys look great on any given Sunday. Team services manager Bud Renicki says his team gets as much a thrill out of seeing a Ravens win as they do when the whistle is blown and they receive the handoff, a cart full of dirty uniforms. You know, we're dealing with grass stains, we're dealing with blood stains, we're dealing with some paint, we're dealing with the uniforms themselves, the face mask that, that they, they can scar, if you will, the, the jerseys. Four industrial washers, four hours each load. We do about 12 to 16 loads of laundry a day. The dirt comes out, the blood comes out, some of the markings come out with some work, but paint, when you have dry paint on it, on, a, on, on fabric, it's, a, it's very much a challenge. And do you want to talk about a challenge? Deborah Greenspan's job, tackling, the stitching, and sewing. It's up to me to make it fit properly. It's only her rookie season as the Raven seamstress, and she's had her fair share of holding and pass interferences. I think the worst I've seen is the, the entire back ripped out of down the, the side back of the shirt. That was the worst because it went through the nameplate, the side of the jersey. But no matter how ripped the uniforms get, Deb knows the players never want to part with their game jersey. It's like uh, your favorite t-shirt. You know, you, you want to wear that till the end. For the list, I'm Nikki Mayo.